What is up, my dudes? Welcome back to another episode of Imperial Diecast. Today I got something really special for you. I have here what I believe is the most detailed 124 scale Ferrari that Burago has ever made. And that is the 124 Ferrari 488 Challenge.
the 488, as you know, is the successor of the 458, which was made from 2009 to 2015, while production of the 488 started in 2015 and lasted until 2020. At the same time, the name 488 comes from the fact that each cylinder of this car's engine has a displacement of 488 cubic centimeters. So if you multiply it by 8, because there's 8 cylinders in total on this car's V8, you'll get the total engine displacement of 3,900 cubic centimeters, or 3.9 liters. Now the car that you're looking at here is of course not the 488, but the 488 Challenge, which is a track-only version of the road-going 488 GTB. And more importantly, not to be confused with the 488 Challenge Evo, which came out in 2020. This car, the 488 Challenge, came out in 2017, which was also the year that marked the 70th anniversary of Ferrari. So this is the number 11 car raced in 2017 at the Mugello circuit in Italy by Niklas Nielsen, a Danish race car driver. But Burago also made the number 25 car in yellow, and what absolutely boggles my mind is that on that model, which sells for the same price as this one by the way, they did not include raised windows. I mean, it's so bizarre, right? It's the same model with a different livery, and yet it's missing the windows. And not only that, but it's also missing the tire wall branding. So anyway, when I saw both of these cars released at the same time, I naturally went for this one. And while the yellow one is your typical Burago 124 quality, I think they absolutely outdid themselves on this red one, as I will proceed to show you over the course of this review. So, taking a look at the front of the 488 Challenge, you can see that perhaps the biggest difference between this and the road-going 488 GTB is the fact that the headlights are almost like 80% covered with the same body color paint as the rest of the car body. And I assume the reason why they did that is because they have racing regulations that are supposed to prevent the high beams from turning on all the way and then perhaps getting in the way of the driver in front of this car, so that they don't cause glare on his rear-view mirror. Other than that, another difference that you might notice is that the front hood on the 488 Challenge has been redesigned to feature a triple vent design, with integrated flaps that direct the hot airflow from the radiators up above and over the car. And of course in the middle you have the 70th anniversary badging. We have this big white racing stripe that runs all the way across the hood and the top of the car. And matching with that, we also have white side view mirrors. You'll also notice that on the hood, we have these silver hood pins that Burago has included as part of the livery. Unfortunately, they are not separate pieces like you might expect on a Hot Wheels Elite, but at least they're here. Here's a close-up of the front Ferrari badging. Of course, it's just a print, but I mean, it does look detailed. And above it, we have a little shield, and underneath it says Formula Racing. We have a couple more decals here. This one is from the Adler Pelser Group, indicating the number of the car. Here's, of course, the Facebook link. And then we have the Pirelli and Shell branding. And then we also have these side canards here, which help move the airflow in the proper direction. And at the very front, of course, we have the front grills, as well as an arrow mark probably indicating where the tow hook will be. The sunstripe above the windshield bears the number 11, as well as, of course, the branding of Singa, which is a very popular export oriented beer in Thailand. And you can also see that we have the logo of the beer company, 
which is a mythical creature. I think it's like a lion or something like that in Balinese mythology. And here's a look at the car's side profile. And again, you can just see how massive that spoiler looks like to the rest of the car's silhouette. And what's also cool is that the spoiler has like these markings to show what angle it's supposed to be mounted at. And you can also see the carbon fiber texture on the sides as well as on the spoiler itself. Probably the best way you can tell a 488 apart from a 458 is that the 488 has these side air intakes here above the rear fender. And they're divided into two sections. The bottom one being the intercooler air inlet and the top one for the engine. The side of the 488 Challenge, of course, also has lots of different manufacturer logos as part of the racing livery. And I'm surprised that Burago actually found the licensing to be able to list all these manufacturers on this model car. Because a lot of times what these budget companies do is that they just like create a fantasy logo or like something that is similar to the real company, but not entirely. But um, they were definitely quite accurate with this one. I mean, you can see we have Brembo, Iveco, UPS, Shell, and so on. But now if we take a closer look at the wheels, you can see that we have Pirelli P0 branding on the tire walls. Now, this is something that you'd actually expect from a 118 scale Hot Wheels Elite model. But here we have it on a 124 Burago, which is pretty amazing. We also have brake discs and brake calipers. And the discs move through the caliper, which is also pretty rare for a 124 scale Burago. And the front wheels also swivel, but not by much. It's just very little. And they don't stay. And here, of course, is the raised window, which is, again, something really amazing. This is basically Hot Wheels Elite stuff here, but so rare and so cool to see it on a 124 scale Burago. So these are the racing Lexan windows, which have like a window in the middle. Of course, that is something that Burago did not replicate on this model. Instead, they just hinted at it, but it's still cool. And then you have here the 70th anniversary of Ferrari from 1947 to 2017 printed on this transparent glass panel. And behind it, we have the fuel cap. Taking a look at the back of the Ferrari 488 Challenge, you can see that Burago this time, even though it's a smaller 124 scale, they actually did a much better job with designing the 488's taillights than they did on the 118 version, because if you look closely, you can see that the center part of the taillights are blacked out. Whereas on the 118, they're actually made out of a reflective mirror type of material, as you will see in my 118 scale review of the 488 Schumacher. So that's an improvement. And of course, we have the Ferrari prancing horse in the middle. We've got the Pirelli and Shell logos at the back as well. Number 11, and another arrow mark to indicate where the tow hook would be on the real car. Of course, that kind of detail you will not get on this 124 but at least you got the arrow. And then we have the exhausts. Now, these were unpainted on this model, which is interesting because on the yellow Ferrari 488 Challenge, they are painted in silver. So what I did was I actually painted these in silver myself to make them look a lot better and, you know, stand out compared to the carbon fiber surrounding them. And I think they look pretty cool now. Between them, we have a Formula One style brake light. And at the very bottom, we have, of course, the rear diffuser. And now, as we move further up, let's take a look at the engine. Unfortunately, um, unlike the 458 or even the 488, you cannot open the engine bay of the 488 Challenge. And this is a new trend that Burago has taken with their 124 scale models, where you can only open the doors. And that was actually one of the reasons why I almost gave up on the 124 scale Ferrari line of Burago, because of this 
new artificial limitation that they have created. But the exterior of this model was just so good that I had to purchase it. And one advantage is that even though you cannot open the uh, rear engine bay cover, you can still see through it, so it's not such a big of a loss. Like, for example, on their Ferrari F12 TDF. And so let's take a closer look inside. And you can see that despite this being a 124 scale model, Brago has put a lot of convincing detail here in the engine. I mean, the red Ferrari engine blocks are there with the Ferrari branding on it. And we also have a little bit of silver detailing for the valve covers. And of course, outside we have Ferrari written and two additional um, hood pins installed, as well as some texture here for the venting. It's a decent amount of detail. The 488 Challenge has pretty much the same engine as the 488 GTB, which is a 3.9 liter V8 twin turbocharged delivering 670 horsepower at 8,000 RPM with a top speed of over 330 kilometers per hour and 0 to 100 acceleration in 2.9 seconds. What is insane about this car, though, is that with a lap time of 1 minute and 15.5 seconds on Ferrari's Fiorano test track, the 488 Challenge is a second slower than the FXXK, but a second faster than the FXX Evo. What's more, it's also 4 seconds quicker than the LaFerrari on the same track. And compared to the standard 488 GTB, a full 8 seconds quicker, which is crazy. And now let's take a look at the interior, but in order to do that we have to first get these doors open. So how exactly are we going to do that if we have fully raised windows instead of, you know, 3 quarters like on the Hot Wheels Elites? And on top of that, such perfect lack of panel gaps, right? And the trick is that you need to, like, either use the door opening tool, which you will get with this model, or, even better, your fingernail, and you hook it onto the underside of the door to get it open. Let me demonstrate. There you go. Now let's do that on the other side. See if it'll be easy or difficult. You gotta be careful not to scratch the paint though. Like that. And then like that. Okay. So now let's check out the interior of the Ferrari 488 Challenge. And as you can see, it is a Pretty pitch dark interior here, but perhaps if I turn on the flash, we should be able to see a few more details. And we do. So you can see that the center stack has a carbon fiber pattern. I also have an LCD screen on top of it, although there is like no sticker on it. But um, the LCD panel is basically the rear view camera of the driver. You can see the details on the door panel here is also carbon fiber. We've got a roll cage. And here is the seat detail. This was the flag I was talking about earlier. Niklas Nielsen is a Danish driver, but Burago gave it a Finland flag, which is not that accurate. But yeah, at least the rest of the livery is fine. Let's take a look at the driver's side, though. So now we move on to the driver's side. And this is where things get interesting because the detail level here is actually pretty spectacular for a 124 scale Ferrari. I mean, the interior is actually designed exactly like the interior of the real 488 Challenge, as you can see in this picture, with the single air vent and the center stack that is full of buttons as well as the steering wheel, which also has the Ferrari logo. Everything looks like on the real car. So now I'm just going to turn on the flash. And when I do, you can actually see that we have the proper branding around the silver buttons, like those yellow lines and everything. 
just like on the real car. That is pretty impressive, although of course you cannot read anything that is written on the center stack. We do have floor pedals though, as you can see right there. They're not painted however, but it should be pretty easy to take this car apart so that you can then paint it yourself. The steering wheel, again, has the Ferrari prancing horse on it. And you can see that we also have paddle shifters behind the steering wheel, but they're not painted. Um, interestingly, there is no sticker for the instrument panel, though, which is a shame. And finally, as we take a look at the bottom of this car, you can see that there is plenty of detail here on the undercarriage. We've got all these intricate designs here, which I'm sure are part of the downforce generating system of the car. You can see all these fins and these NACA ducts here, all channeling the airflow, as well as, of course, the massive rear diffuser with the carbon fiber texture on it. You can see it says here, Rago Ferrari 488 Challenge, 124, made in China. The cool thing is that this car actually comes with racing slicks, so there's no tread pattern on the tires, but it's supposed to be that way. The only thing that I don't like, however, is that you can see the center mold line right there, which they should have removed. But yeah, pretty cool. All right, guys, I hope you liked the review of this 124 scale Ferrari 488 Challenge by Burago. I think it is a fantastic model in terms of details for this scale, and it's definitely going to be the centerpiece of any 124 scale Ferrari collection. If you're interested in 118 scale Ferraris, though, I have reviewed the 118 equivalent of this car, the 488 Schumacher, also by Burago. So please make sure to check that out. And as always, take care. This is Imperial Diecast, signing out.